Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look at Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY. So before we start with the content my friends we have this special Femex trading event coming up on the 24th of March. So if you want to join this event follow the links that you find down below here in the video description for this trading event and of course you can also follow me and my community here if you want to trade in the same team. So we are gonna join this uh, Chinese uh, guy with this trader. I was also in the last competition and we were second here in the team ranking. So I'm pretty confident that we have the chance to win this competition if uh, we're gonna trade successfully, especially with this guy. I don't know him, I don't know his team, but last time we were quite successful. So hopefully also this time we can get a piece of the prize pool up to 45 Bitcoin. So make sure that you share this link and this video to all your friends that are also trading a Bitcoin because uh, the more traders we are, the bigger the price pool uh, will be. So make sure that you're joining and sharing this event to all your crypto friends. And if you want to be part of our community, then of course follow this guy over here. And you're also very welcome to join our Discord trading chat so we can discuss how we're gonna trade during the event. So if you want to be part of our crypto community over on Discord, then just click here on the invitation link that you find down below here for Discord. Once you have clicked it, then you can go here to read first and click on thumbs up button. Like this, you can confirm that you are a human and not a bot. Like this, you have free access to the crypto trading chat. And of course, if you also want to get access to my live stream indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then you can contact me here on Discord because for a small donation you can get access to these uh, live stream uh, indicators so make sure that you're joining also my discord trading chat especially if you're joining here my team here with this uh, special Phoenix trading event that is starting on the 24th of March so you still have 13 days of time to sign up here you just have a minimum deposit that you need during the trading event of uh, 0 0.005 Bitcoin and now let's start straight into the content, my friends, because after breaking out here to the upside from this ascending triangle, you can see that we are facing this next resistance here right at around $55,000. And this is really the last resistance that we have in order to go and test this old all time high of 58,000 and then most likely also break it to the upside and then slowly reach our breakout target of approximately 74 to 75,000 dollar so if you want to take this long position then of course maybe wait until we're gonna break this $55,000 because so far it looks like that at least in the lower time frames we still could come back down here towards uh, this uh, 52 to $53,000 area before we finally take off here and go and test 58,000 and go higher because here in the four hour time frame if we pull out here the moving averages you can see that currently we are trading right at the nine moving average which of course is very bullish that we are closing candles above this moving average but we could still fall here towards the 20 moving average which currently is lining up perfectly with this previous resistance line that now is new support right here at $52,400 and this is also where I most likely gonna scale in some longs even though of course the funding rates are still a little bit high but I most likely gonna take this trade because there is a very high chance that here we could see an explosive move to the upside. So right now we are still in this consolidation right below this resistance and we can also do another Fibonacci retracement here from the top of 58,000 down to the bottom and you can see that currently we are having this last resistance here at the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement right here at 50. 
5000 so most likely we're gonna bounce here up and down until then we're gonna see a breakout to the upside but once this uh, 55,000 is broken we're gonna go straight towards 58 and then potentially also have this breakout to the upside and the target you know my friends is towards 75,000 dollar it doesn't mean that we have to shoot straight up there but slowly slowly we most likely gonna go towards this next price target that we have here if we can take out this 58,000 dollar and this consolidation phase that we are in right now if we zoom in here in the lower time frames like the one hour you can see that we most likely gonna create this falling wedge which of course is a very bullish pattern so as soon as we're gonna break here this resistance currently at around fifty five thousand dollar i'm pretty confident that we're gonna see follow through to the upside but as long as we are in this falling wedge i think we could still go down to test this 52 to fifty three thousand dollar before we then completely take off and we can then of course also open up a nice long position over on Bybit or Femex and if you still need an account over here then make sure to use my referral links down below because like that you support the channel you have more luck and at the same time you also get some more bonus here that you can do some free trades with it so short term it looks like that we could still come down here towards this 52 to 53,000. this is where I would start to look for a nice long opportunity you can see that also here stochastic is shifted to the downside so as soon as here we are getting into oversold condition so most likely gonna test here this area of 52 to 53,000, which is also coinciding with the middle line here of the bollinger bands and i think there most likely we're gonna see another bounce to the upside and then finally break this 55,000 resistance because we are looking very bullish here also in the lower time frames this little pullback here down towards the 20 moving average in the four hour is possible but as soon as we're going to break this resistance here in the lower time frames i'm pretty confident that we're going to go straight towards 58,000 and potentially then also break it and head towards new all-time highs and now we can go over into the daily time frame because here you can see that we finally have now the nine daily moving average again above the 20 moving average this is what we want to see during a strong bull run here and that's why i think that it's just a matter of hours until here we're gonna finish this consolidation and also this fight with this fifty-five thousand dollar, and then gear up to test fifty-eight thousand and potentially go towards here the resistance line that we have at the time of recording at around sixty-six thousand nine hundred dollar. but if we're gonna stay in this region here for another couple of days of course this uh, resistance line is also increasing so there is a very high chance that as soon as we're going to see the breakout this line will be approximately at around 70,000 and then as soon as we are starting to go parabolic here to the upside we most likely going to reach here the $75,000 target towards the end of this uh, month so you see my friends we still have time to open up some nice longs i think as soon as here we're gonna break this 55,000, we're gonna start a parabolic move to the upside but there is a very high chance that we're gonna stay in this uh, falling wedge here for the next coming hours maybe until the end of the week and then we're gonna break out to the upside so you have time to open up a trade if you want to long here no need to rush we still have time and now I want to show you the Ethereum chart, but because also here in the Ethereum chart, we have some very bullish price action. Also here, as you can see, we are fighting with this last resistance here at 1,880. We got rejected so far here and we came straight back down here towards the 1,760 level, our 0.618 Fibonacci retracement. So in theory now, we shouldn't drop again below this important price level. If we are starting to close candles again below 1,000, 760 then it is very likely that we're gonna fall towards the 200 moving average so towards the next Fibonacci level here at 1660 I don't think that is very likely since right now we are confirming this new support here at the 20 moving average and if Bitcoin is able to break $55,000 and head towards the old all-time high of 58,000 then most likely also Ethereum gonna follow Bitcoin and we're gonna see this test of $2,000 and potentially go also way higher than that.
So in Ethereum, we are seeing exactly the same price action like over on Bitcoin. We are trading exactly between the same Fibonacci levels like in Bitcoin. And that's why I'm also pretty bullish on Ethereum. And I think if you're trading Ethereum, this level here at around $1,800, this price level here should be a good long opportunity. Because as soon as we have this bounce here and also break 1870 we're going to go straight towards new all-time highs, same like on Bitcoin. And if we have a look at the daily time frame, also here you can see that currently we are trading above the 20 and 9 daily moving average. So that is very bullish. And also, even if we would drop again towards these two moving averages down here at 1,670, delay the stair, we should have a big bounce to the upside again. I think it's not very likely that we're going to go straight back down here and retest this moving average. Right now, I think here at this point, 618 Fibonacci retracement level, we should have enough support. And I don't think that Ethereum will drop below this and go now to test the 9 and 20 daily moving average. So here it looks like that also we are gearing up to break this resistance here same like in bitcoin this 55,000, and then head towards the old all-time high and then most likely also break it so i'm expecting in both assets a very explosive move to the upside as soon as we're going to take out the all-time highs that we had so far and now we can also have a look into the DXY because as you can see right now we are getting rejected exactly at the resistance area that we were pointing out in the last couple of videos and you can see that the 9 and 20 daily moving average right now are here between $91 and $90 so that means that most likely we're going to see a complete retracement back down maybe they're going to have another bounce to the upside but overall I think that the DXY is all almost over here and done with this uh, pump that we have seen and uh, hopefully this was the big rejection already and we are not going to see another 200 daily moving average retest because that of course could mean that we're going to see another little correction in the crypto market and also in the stock market but overall even if we would see here a final move to test the 200 daily moving average I think here we definitely gonna fall the cliffs again and go again towards these uh, targets of $90 potentially even go lower towards the support that we would have in theory here at around 89 dollars and of course also in my own indicator you can see that we are getting in very overbought condition so as soon as here we're getting a sell signal same like we had over here then i think we're gonna go straight towards here the support that we have currently in this bearish pattern that the dxy is still in it and of course if we would lose the support here at 89 dollars then be prepared to see big fireworks in overall all the markets because if the dxy is gonna go below this historical important support that that we have here at $89 we could easily plunge towards 80 to 70 dollars in a very fast way so that's why this is really the last resort for the DXY to have a successful bounce to the upside otherwise if this is gonna fail we most likely gonna start to trade here sideways along $89 maybe even fall off the cliffs here and that would be a catastrophe for the DXY but very much in favor for all the assets in the crypto space and of course also in the stock market it. So the conclusion for this video my friends is that short term we still could consolidate a couple of hours more maybe even some days more before we're going to see a breakout to the upside but what is for sure is that here we're going to definitely see a breakout to the upside and then most likely also an explosive follow through towards the $75,000. So we should be out of the woods yet, my friends. Just look for good entries and good long opportunities because it's just a matter of hours here until then we're gonna finally go and test the all-time high and then also break it and go towards new levels. So with that said guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button, smash that button, also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and of course also check out all my referral links down below here because with some of them you can get some extra bonus and extra money. So definitely go and check them out. Thank you again very much for watching and your support my friends and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye!